This is your intro into stock photography. Stay tuned as we break down what it is, if it's right for you, and how to get going. Here we go. Uh, watch the intro first. Stock photography, what is it? It's the way today that we capture our audience. It's the way that we tell a story and it's the way that we get our point across. And it is a massive industry, a billion dollar industry. And that, that's my way of trying to articulate just how big it was. And ideally I would have had a billion dollar stock photo right there and that probably would have gone a lot better. But to prove a point, I don't have a billion dollar stock photo, so that's what I had. Now, if I use something like this or like this, that probably would have been better. And you can start to see just how important these, these stock photos and videos are. And they're everywhere. They're in our media, they're in our stories, they're in our blog posts and advertising. They are literally everywhere. And they're simple. And the, the, most, the best thing to remember is all this stock photo does is tell a story. So there's the pile of change that I just used as my example. And what I'm going to do to prove a point, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and post that to one of my stock photography sites. And I'm going to see if it's going to sell. And I bet you it will sell. And, and stock photography consists of every possible industry that you can imagine. You can take a picture of somebody doing something, sports, emotions, uh, business, textures. It's, it's endless what you can do and you can get started so simply with literally the cell phone in your pocket. You don't have to be a master photographer. You don't have to have all this expensive gear and, and stuff that you know you might think you need to have when you get going. You, you don't have to be professional and that's the beauty of it. You use stock photography as a tool, a tool to make passive income and a tool to grow your skills, to learn what doesn't sell, what does sell and it makes you a better photographer. It makes you more creative. It makes you think outside the box. So are you going to become rich and famous from stock photography? And the answer is probably not. Honestly, if you quit your job and invest all your time and passion into being a stock photographer, uh, you will succeed. I believe in you, but odds are you're probably going to be doing it part time, maybe to have a bit of residual passive income, and maybe just to grow your skills. Realistically, most stock photos sell between 25 cents and a few dollars. So you're not gonna make a million bucks right off the bat. It's about the long game and it's about quantity over quality in a lot of cases. And it's not about getting a big paycheck, it's about getting lots of little paychecks. So one tip I have for you is really understand what it is that you're doing, what you're getting into. And when you sell your work, you're selling the rights to your photography which means that I'd really suggest you not use your best work. And I mean the, the work that you're most passionate about because somebody could pay you five bucks and then go ahead in some cases and maybe print it 500,000 times on a Walmart t-shirt, but that's the industry. So how do we sell our stock photos? Well, there's actually a ton of options. You've probably heard of a couple of big names like Adobe stock or Shutterstock online, but there's dozens and dozens of options each with their own learning curve and interface, differences in how you upload, keyword, and submit your images. Over the years, I've found that personally, Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, and Dreams Time were the ones that performed best for me. So moving forward in these videos, I'm gonna really break those ones down and show you step-by-step -step my process, my workflow, and how everything works and how to be successful at those ones. But if you're a member of other ones, or you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the links below that I've included in the description so that you can sign up and we can get going right away in the next video. So next, it's really important that you have at least a basic understanding of photo editing. And whether you're using an app in your phone or great tools like Photoshop or Lightroom, I really encourage you to learn the tools that you have. Lightroom is one of my favorite tools and I can easily organize, edit, and export all of my photos simply and easily. If you wanna learn more about Lightroom or maybe just get some tips and tricks, check out my video on easy Lightroom editing just up there. Well, let's leave it at that guys. That's Stock Photography 101, a really quick breakdown of just what to expect. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. So, you know, 
if, if it is, I encourage you to check out my other videos in the series. We'll go through and we'll really break down exactly what to do, why we're doing it, and how much we're making. Tracking everything and seeing what you can make every month. It's kind of nice to wake up uh, in the morning, open up your email and see that you've made 25 bucks. That's kind of fun. So I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. If you liked what you saw, consider giving me maybe a like and a subscribe. And as always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some pictures. See you next time, guys. Now there are a few types of stock photography. There's editorial and then there's the other one. <laughs>